So you already know what animation is, but you don't know how to animate. What is the process like? How do you start? Whether you're a fan of animation in The Simpsons, Incredibles 2, God of War, Avengers, or just the art in general, this video will help you get started with any kind of animation. Uh, you'll discover the basics of how to animate with just five simple steps. Come in right up. Hey, what's up animators? Rusty here from Rusty Animator. And in this channel, we create weekly videos that teach you how to animate at a higher level to quickly reach your dream job in movies or games faster uh, without massive college debt. So here you'll find a mix of how-tos, tutorials, um, live events, and guides just like this one. So if you're new here uh, and you're an animator, consider subscribing. The first step on how to actually animate is just choosing your medium. There are five different kinds of animation. You know, there's traditional hand-drawn animation, there's 3D computer animation, there's vector bitmap animations like digital 2D, there's stop motion, and there's motion graphics. Each medium has its own unique style, challenges, and artistic process. So picking your medium will, you know, de determine the specifics of how you animate. But in general, the art of how to animate stays pretty much the same. If you want to learn more about the five different kinds of animation, check out our video on them in the description below. In this example, I'm going to choose uh, computer animation as our medium. How to animate step number two, choose your tools and software. So every animator needs a tool to create animation, right? And since you've already picked your medium, this part should be pretty easy. If you're, if you're doing, you know, traditional hand-drawn animation, you're using a pencil and paper of some kind. If you're doing stop motion, uh, you're gonna be using a camera and probably a physical puppet or maybe just yourself. Uh, if you're doing computer animation like I am here in this example, uh, you're using software and some 3D virtual puppets called character rigs. So for this video, I'm actually choosing Maya software as my animation tool. Uh, yeah, there are other 3D computer animation softwares to choose from, but Maya is the industry standard uh, for all 3D computer animation, and it's what most animation studios use on the job if they're not using a custom software. So you might as well learn, uh, you know, on what the pros use if you're going to go this route, right? There is, just a quick note on the software, there is a free trial available if you don't own it yet. And if you wanna see more software options, you can check out the Animation for Beginners guide in the description below. Step number three on how to actually animate is deciding what to animate. So when you're a beginner in animation, you only want to create very basic animations. Why? Animation is probably one of the most complicated art forms that there is. Like learning the guitar, you don't want to start with a Carlos Santana solo right away, right? If you try to create a Pixar acting shot or a God of War cinematic as a newbie, you're going to get overwhelmed, stressed out, lost, and go nowhere. I recommend starting with a ball bounce as a beginner and slowly working your way up to a normal you know, character walk. In the description below, you'll find a list of recommended exercises. Uh, to start with and work your way up as a beginner. For this example, I'm just gonna choose a ball with a tail. How to animate step number four, a clear animation workflow. So to create any art, you need a process and the better your process, the better your art will be. There are hundreds of different workflows out there, but they all kind of basically do the same thing. You start by planning out your animation. Then you begin animating only the big ideas, working you know rough and broad at first, and then as you continue, you know you're taking another pass at another pass and adding more detail, more and more detail with each pass that you do until it's finally complete. So, for example, uh, a typical animation workflow that that's standard and works well for most animators is something like this: planning. So you're figuring out how, in this case, a ball and tail will hop across the screen, the timing, the spacing, the overlap, all the drawings, uh, you know, you're figuring all this out with drawings first. And this should give you a very clear idea on what you're making and exactly how you're going to do it. The second step in an animation workflow is usually blocking. So once I have my plan, I'll block out the big ideas 
of the ball and the tail animation super rough and fast just trying to get the the core essence the story that i'm trying to get across in in there blocking plus is the next stage of the animation workflow and uh, with this rough block out done where you've kind of established what the animation will be accomplishing, the story that's there, you can now go in and break down the big, uh, you know, the moves, the big moves from like how to go from the ground to into the air and you figure out, you know, just how the timing and spacing will be through there, how those big moves connect, right? So your animation is starting to transition from very rough to just rough now. Then you're on to the refining stage. So at this stage, the animation should really be coming together. Uh, there's a lot more detail to all of the movements, a lot more weight and a lot more character to your animation. Uh, if you're in computer animation, usually you're going from step to spline. If you don't know what that is, don't worry about it. Um, but you're, you're still holding off on the finest details at this stage. Uh, it's just really starting to come along in the end your animation will be like 90% of the way there. So the polish stage is the final stage of your animation and it's just like it sounds. You know, you're pushing for every little detail you can uh, to just get that into the animation and make it feel just right. As we said, 90% of your animation should already be there and looking good. So we're really just looking to push this to remove any little tiny little blemishes or imperfections or add any little nuances that really make it you know, the icing on the cake for your animation. So pro tip here, if you're animating in a studio, you would have a deadline for when your animation is done, right? So on your own, it's great to impose your own deadlines when you're doing animations, even if you're a beginner. So you don't spend too long animating the same piece without moving on and, and getting that habit of just animating and getting better every day, no matter what. It's far better to call something good enough than to just make tweaks forever, uh, you know, and never go anywhere new. How to animate step number five, okay? Use the 12 principles of animation. If you ever wanted a formula for making great animation, these 12 principles are as close as it gets. The 12 principles are basically guidelines for creating and improving any animation at any stage. They help us as animators create a, you know, a better illusion of life in our art, which is always what we want. Um, they were originally defined, you know, by two of the legendary Disney animators, Frank Thomas and Ollie Johnston, and their book, The Illusion of Life. And I'm not going to go into massive detail here about all the principles. Uh, I mean, that could be a whole other video or series of videos. Instead, I'm going to link to some great videos on the 12 principles in the description below, as well as the Illusion of Life book. Uh, Every pro animator knows these 12 principles by heart and relies on them daily to create great animation. So if you hope to become a great animator too, then you should consider learning them by heart as well. AnimQ of the week. Did this video clear up a lot of questions that you had about how to animate? Or do you still have a lot of specific questions about how to animate that's holding you up from just getting started? Let me know the specifics in the comments below. Thanks so much for checking out this video and definitely subscribe for more videos just like this one. And if you haven't yet, grab the Animation for Beginners Epic Guide. It's a free download I put together for you to go much deeper into how to animate as well as, you know, the best software options, step-by-step -step animation tutorials, best animation courses, and much, much more. You can grab that for free and I'll link that up in the YouTube card as well as in the description below. So until next time, happy animating.